Ducks for Pets Have you ever seen some ducks swimming contentedly in a park pond and wondered to yourself whether you can keep ducks as pets? Keeping ducks as pets requires the proper setup, the right kind of breed, time, space, commitment, and never raising just one alone. Ducks are flock birds. These adorable poultry birds can make excellent pets, as long as keepers do not expect them to behave like a pet store bird or a cuddly kitten. Here is some useful information for those who might be considering before adopting a duck as a pet. Pet duck behavior. Please do not keep a duck as a house pet. They are not suited to an indoor lifestyle. They just can't be happy in any type of fully indoor enclosure, though you will want to provide some respite from the elements. Only dabble with ducks if you can secure sufficient outdoor space for them. Ducks do not possess sphincter muscles, therefore, it is impossible to control their urination and defecation. Shortly after foraged food or poultry bird feed enters the duck, it starts to come out on the other end. They need a house with a pool. Ducks are pretty high maintenance compared to chickens. They need lots of fresh water, which they soil frequently. Ducks love to swim, and splash, and drink, and bathe. Everything in their life revolves around water, which means the bigger the tub, the better. A pond or kiddie pool will do well, depending on how big your flock is. Ducklings can't fly, so you don't have to worry about them escaping, but they won't thrive unless they have ample space. Fencing around your yard will help keep pets in and predators out. Ducks need constant companionship. Ducks are highly social creatures who need at least one other companion critter around at all times to feel safe, secure, and happy. They are not solitary creatures and will become depressed and lonely quite easily. Ideally, that other critter is another duck but young ducklings can also imprint off of and bond to other animals. Caring for pet ducks. Ducklings must be kept warm and dry for the first three to four weeks. Put a box or cage in a warm place or supply heat with a light bulb. Ducks need to be kept in a secure pen or house when you are not at home that will protect them from predators. To be secure, housing needs to have solid sheeting or welded mesh, with wire at least 1.2 mm thick, on the roof, floor and walls. Provide as much space as possible for each duck. They must be allowed to move into or out of the heat as they choose, so place the lamp in a corner of the cage instead of in the center. Duck Nutrition for the first two weeks, the ducklings should be fed duck starter, which is a special ration for young birds. For weeks three to seven, they should be fed duck grower, which is optimal for growth and development. From then on you can feed pullet grower, which is a lower protein, unmedicated chicken feed. On top of the pellets you offer, ducks like grubs and greens from the yard. They love to talk. And it's loud. Some duck keepers warn folks that these poultry birds can become very noisy and loud. Some species are known for being quieter, and males tend to chat less than females. You may be able to find the right match with a little research, but check into noise restrictions in your area before committing to this crew. Are you ready for some pet ducks? Don't let all this deter you from keeping a group of duckies. Your flock will be lovable and enjoyable with the right amount of space and enough to do.
ducks can live a long time and deserve a happy, healthy home for the duration. Keep in mind, many cities actually prohibit owning these animals. You need to carefully review all local laws and restrictions before getting this pet and putting in a sizable home for him. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment what would you like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching.